What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be installing a brand new artificial turf in our client's home around their pool because the existing one is pretty naked and worse for wear. We have a 25 millimeter Augusta type grass, which looks pretty organic and real because it's got both brown and green turf in it. But before that, we have to fix up our screed levels because all the water is damming up on their walls, which is no good. You're going to want to stick around right up until the end because this transformation is absolutely epic. And hey, by the way, are we friends yet? Make sure you follow us over on Instagram where you'll catch VIP content before YouTube. But now let's head over to our supplier. Over at our supplier's place, they even have an artificial rhino and an elephant outside, which I'm sure the kids would absolutely love. Clearly, we are in Africa. Now, this ram hoist collects the two meter wide roll, which is pretty heavy. So keep that in mind when you are collecting yours and some glue supplies, which is pretty much all the materials you'll need on this application, apart from your cutting and edging tools. And then over on site, you can see around the pool, Everything is pretty landlocked for lack of a better word. So that means the water doesn't have many places to go. So we decided to funnel it into the pool. It currently flows towards both the boundary and the house wall. And those pebbles just retain the water. And you can see in some areas, the grass is just, well, non-existent. So pretty sad state, but that's why this transformation is gonna be epic. Here's the roll of grass that we've unrolled and we've let it acclimate to the weather, which is a good idea because it is flattened to one direction. As you can see, while I rub my hand over it, it's a beautiful 25 millimeter Augusta type, which has both green and brown strands, which makes it look pretty natural, better than real grass. And of course you don't have the maintenance, but first up, we've got to prepare the area by removing what is left of the old grass and also those pebble stones. So let's get into it. Whilst we remove the old artificial grass and the pebbles, we also scrape off any excess glue that may have remained behind, just so that we have a good chance for our new screed mixture to adhere to, which we're currently mixing up directly on the floor. And this is a river sand and cement mixture. You could probably use a plaster sand mixture as well, but the depth that we had was pretty significant, so this was most suitable. We also add a binding agent or what we call plaster key, which helps it adhere to the existing cement surface. And that also gets mixed thoroughly in. And once our mixture is thoroughly mixed, we can start applying it to the areas roughly just by moving it around before we start leveling and getting the right slope for water to drain off. With our screed mixture now laid down in all of the areas where we need to raise the depth, we can start grading the area by using a metal C channel, which just gets an approximate slope for drainage away from the house and towards the pool. And for that, we use this metal C channel as well as a spirit level to ensure we've got adequate runoff. Once we have the correct slope for drainage, we can start smoothing out the area using this wooden float and floating the area so that we've got a smooth surface for our glue to adhere our grass to. And we use this offcut just to determine the level below the coping around the pool 
so that our grass doesn't stick up too high. So keep that in mind when you are doing your application. Here's a good view of the depth that we actually had to compensate for, which is approximately three to four centimeters. And it's pretty significant because all of that water was damming up by the house and messing up the paintwork. On the back end of the pool, that cement floor was pretty decent, except in this corner, which was also sloping towards the house. So we needed to correct that. But now we can start focusing our attention on the other side and mix up our mortar mixture. Next day on site and you can see the mortar mixture has already cured up. It's gone from a dark gray to a light gray. So it is almost ready for our grass to be installed. But over on the other side, we continued with raising the levels of this side. And that's the same river sand and cement mixture that we used previously, which will also apply the plaster key in order for it to bond so that we can raise the level near that boundary wall towards the pool. A huge shout out to all our Nail & Screw subscribers. Thanks to you guys, we're now eligible for super thanks, which means you can continue showing your love and support by donating to the channel, allowing us to produce more awesome content into the future. And you'll also be able to post a colorful comment in the comment section. And all our super thanks subscribers will get a special shout out at the end of every video. Thanks again, and let's jump back into this one. Once all of the screed mixture is down and fully cured out and you're happy with the slope for drainage of water away from all of the walls, we can start laying down our artificial grass so that we can cut it roughly to the dimension of the area we're going to be installing it in. And the reason for the overlap is so that you can make the piece lighter for one because it is pretty weighty, but also so you can handle it when you are trimming it to its final dimensions. Then we can start mixing up our glue mixture. Now this is a two part mixture and there's various types on the market. You have the glue itself and a hardener which is a catalyst and starts the curing process. So when you mix up, make sure that you are ready for your installation. It should still be a runny consistency so you can apply it to the area. And once that's done, we can start prepping the area for the installation. Once everything has then cured up, we can start cleaning the area, getting it ready for our glue application, just to ensure that our grass has every best chance in order to adhere. The moment has finally arrived where we can install our artificial grass. With the area now clean, prepped and ready, we can lay down our glue mixture around the perimeter of each of our grassed areas. You can also snake some glue in the center, but the weight of the grass should hold it down and also allow for water to drain through it and underneath it towards the pool. Now, given that this is quite a long section, we broke it up into thirds. And so we applied the glue on the top third and then lay down our grass and make sure that it is bedded in place for the rest of our two thirds to go down pretty seamlessly. And that allows us to then roll back the other two thirds, apply a glue mixture and lay down the rest of our grass. After about 30 minutes to an hour, the glue should have cured up. And the cool thing about the glue, it actually expands while it's curing up, which is great, but it also gives you enough working time so that you're not in a mad dash in order to get it installed. Once the glue has cured up, you can start with your finer trim work around the edges and you can also place any strips where there may be uneven pieces along the coping or even the walls, which we did find in this instance.
And that's how you install artificial turf around your pool on a screed surface. We had a ton of fun on this project and I hope you enjoyed the video as well. If so, go ahead and smash that like button. It helps us grow the channel tremendously. And if we're not yet friends, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified when we post more of these cool DIY videos. And of course, catch us over on Instagram where you'll get VIP access to this type of content before YouTube. My name is Ryan, your DIY guy, but until next time, we'll see you on Nail and Screw.